everybody. Hey everybody. Welcome to Table Talk. Glad you're here. It's cold. It's yeah, today. it's cold today. And, but we're happy because it's sunny out. It's going to be the 60s this so week. So nice. Yay. So, um, so welcome. We're glad you're here. We're uh, in a new series, a little mini series mm -hmm. we're doing in November called Heretic. Um, and it's super fun and exciting because we're talking about all these things that we believe that might be a little bit misguided. It's kind of like basics though, 101. Yeah. You know, Christianity 101. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but it's, yeah. Good to, it's good to talk about that. So I'm here with yeah. Becca today. Hi. It's been a while since I know work because we had all these other Yeah, we've like had people. table group leaders. Yeah. And, uh, it's been exciting. Hosts and I like that. Yeah, um, lots of good voices. I think that's a part, all part of it too. So and, um, um, generations, you know, mm -hmm. if it's older and younger and so yeah. Like, Oh, that's really, really good. some teenagers in here at some point. Yes, we have to do that next. Yeah. yeah, so if you are a youth, we would love to have you also or young participate adults. in this. What would your daughter do? Oh, gosh. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Um, okay, so this week we talked about Jesus. Yeah. That's kind of a good starting point, don't you think? And um, so we talked about Jesus and... And really something that a lot of people, like, I know if you're a Christian, like maybe friends of yours, family members, mm -hmm. the, the whole idea of Jesus is divinity. Like, most daunting. People, yeah, most people have, are okay with Jesus. He was being a good man, mm -hmm. being a good teacher, being a good example. Mm -hmm. But when you cross into the line, across the line to say he was divine, oh he was God, mm -hmm. that's something that a lot of people are like, mm, I don't think so. No I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to <laughs> go just there. Just not talk about it. Yeah, it's a lot easier just to kind of, so we, we unpack that in the message. And um, yeah, I think it was just a good, I don't know. I enjoyed the preparation of it because it just allowed me to look at a lot of the reasons why. You know, a lot of times like we go to church. Yeah. You know, and it's like, and it was nice that it was concise, and you had it. You know, it was a what, 20, 25 minute message, mm -hmm. and that people can watch it and be like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> you know, yeah, or it doesn't, and you're still questioning, which is fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, so I just wanted to start out by just asking you, Becca, yeah. just like in your experience and and everything, what has been something that that has helped you kind of comprehend or come to terms with Jesus's divinity? I think Son of God. I've never really questioned it. Um, obviously, it's hard to wrap your head around because it's mysterious and yeah. obviously doesn't seem possible. But um, I've just been taught from day one that Jesus was was God and the second, per the third person of the triangle, well, second person of the triangle, God. And mm -hmm. you know, I just it never really it was just kind of ingrained in me. Yeah. And so I, you know, when I went to college, we started studying Christian tradition and things like that. I went to EMC, shout out. Ooh. And um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yay. And uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I still have trouble wrapping my head around it because I'm human and but ultimately my faith you know takes over and and spirit kind of just shows me what I need to know and I just take that and go with it and you know I see it lived it I'm a doer obviously I'm a Martha um, <laughs> so I'm a doer story. I'm a Martha oh, so I see I I, pr I practice my faith by doing things for others and I feel like mm -hmm. sometimes I see, you know, God's, Jesus' divinity through that and, and, and just the whole, the whole aspect of, of that. And other people are more cerebral. Yeah, so more people yeah. are more cerebral and they have to think about it and understand it and wrap their head around it. And I'm just like, right. whatever, I'm, you know, mm -hmm. like, d despite the fact whether I believe in Jesus' divinity or not, which I do, or someone else doesn't, it doesn't change the fact what Jesus did for us. Right. And it doesn't change the fact that he redeemed creation and it is still redeeming. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's not, it doesn't change the fact that even if you're doubting, it's not going to change the fact that he still did it for you. Right. You it know, still so it's okay. Even if you can't fully comprehend it. Yeah. yeah so that's what, I, yeah. that is a comfort. And I mean, you didn't say, obviously, say anything like that, I don't think. But it's still something to mention that if you still are doubting, it's not going to change the fact that like, you're not going to if you have doubts you know yeah, right and or if you have a friend who doesn't really believe and it prevents them from being a part of a faith community um you don't have to worry about them like it still happened like it's still mm -hmm. still there yeah you know? yeah and i think that's where like people struggle like in different ways mm -hmm. with that too and instead of being so stressed out to say um you know faith is not 
a necessary a, a hey I have to come to terms with these ten things yeah. and then once I check them off then I'm good it's like working thing. your way up to heaven <laughs> no faith, faith is that gap mm -hmm. and allowing God to you know Jesus to step in and to fill that gap yeah. to say hey I don't fully but I'm I'm stepping out here and I'm trusting I'm leaning on that's a like a good word I'm leaning on this concept even if I don't fully like in my Grasp brain it. understand yeah. it yeah and also, I think being a part of a, a community like Table yes. Life Church is you, you, know, you, you sharpen each other, you learn from each other, you learn, you filter, you know. Yeah. I like how you described it. I wanted to put a term to what you were describing in the very beginning of the sermon. Mm -hmm. You were talking about it's okay to test and question yeah. and put your, ta your faith to test. And sure. it's kind of like the scientific method of, sure. of Christian <laughs> formation. So yeah. uh, it's like basically being in a faith community and, and going to classes and being in table groups, you're mm -hmm. going to talk about stuff that sometimes could be seen as heresy, but you need to talk about it. You need to understand and that you test your faith and then there's someone else in the room who might be in a different spot mm -hmm. and they might explain to you, well, you know, they might have a little bit of higher education on the matter like you or someone like Pastor sure. Jeff and might be able to explain what you're going through and what yeah. it means. So it's, it's really helpful to do that, to ask questions, it's okay to and have you know, friends. you're not going to be dismissed. Right, yeah. You're not going to be like, oh my gosh, you're like that, you know, like that whole ostracizing, like unfortunately in the, yeah. in the, the history of and Christianity. And it's okay to have place. friends that aren't Christians because you can yeah. talk about these things because they might bring something up that you just take for granted and say, well, I, I'm having trouble believing that you believe this. And you're like, wait a second, I believe yeah. that. <laughs> you're like, yeah. oh my goodness. And then it, it deepens right. your your connection with 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 God and your your belief and your community and um, ultimately you bear witness with those friends you know to what you mm -hmm. believe in but yeah and yeah. it's a journey because I don't I think when we think that we have all the answers <laughs> like we realize that we don't so no, it's not. a journey with someone especially if somebody's like well why do you believe this and you're like I'm not sure like you know <laughs> you know you that it's okay it's okay to say that hey to say hey yeah. I want to why don't we go find that out together like I'm actually and I'm not sure, like, logically why that is, but uh, let me find out for you. Yeah. Um, that's good, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, um, those are the main things I was talking I, I like your big idea. Jesus' divinity is what brings hope and possibility. Yeah. Which is basically saying what I said before is the fact that we believe it or not, it's still there. Mm -hmm. Still, there's still hope. There's still, yeah. um, you know, there can be peace. Um, yeah. Yeah. And it's all ultimately, like, understanding what Jesus did on the cross. I mean, that's a whole nother concept too that I can't get to in a 25 yeah. minutes or reply no, to no. atonement. Yeah. Um, you know, people have written books and theses and so much on that. 2,000 years worth of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Um, and a lot so, of weird stuff. Yeah, so understanding how all that that works, um, that's, that's like a study of yeah. its own and an understanding of its own. Um, but, but I guess for me, like, like you were saying, Becca, um, you know, your life experience with Jesus has, has kind of proven him to you yeah. or affirmed him to you in your right. faith. Um, you know, for me, like, you know, I ponder and think about things a lot <laughs> and, um, the, the historic elements for me are really important too. Um, you know, as much as that, like, you know, yeah, I have experienced, yeah, mm -hmm. I have experienced his presence right. here and now and even seen in other people's lives. But, but also when I look back at history and you basically, you see, like when you really, really think about it, you're like, how did this little fledgling <laughs> movement among peasants, like expand explode? Yeah. and you know, and I'm saying like before Constantine, before it became like the official, like nothing could stop it. Even the people in power and money and authority, yeah. nothing could stop that. So that's where it's like, okay, well something happened. Then what was the something that happened? Jesus. And Jesus' is resurrection. Um, so, so even just that, when you look at the, it's kind of the cause and effect, like in science, mm -hmm. you know, if, if, if something you see an effect somewhere that yeah. means something had provoked it, something had caused Scientific it. Scientific method. Yeah. <laughs> and you, and you, and you discern that and you yeah. look into that. So, so it's kind of like that with, with Jesus mm -hmm. too. Um, cause also something we don't realize is there were hundreds of other messiahs at the time. Prophets and claiming to be people that claimed yeah. to be the messiah. Be the life of 
<laughs> There's so many prophets. There you go. There are so many prophets. So you and then learn about yeah, Jesus or through Monty Python. Yeah, Never. it's an inappropriate movie. Um, but it's still pretty funny. We're not promoting it, yeah, but anyway, anyway, some of us have seen it. Yeah. And um, but in any case, just about like the the, the changes that have ha that happen mm -hmm. in people's lives. Um, it's it, it there's there's really not a way to grasp that or it's miraculous or to it. it really is miraculous yeah and um yeah and, and like i said yeah about the different people that claim most of them were all squashed like a bug by rome basically yeah. they were just taken over they were people were they were killed but that you don't you probably watching this you I, i'm guessing i don't think you can probably name one of no, I can name a couple of them because you read books. books. I've read books yeah. about them. And the history. I guess some of the interesting things yeah. they had followers and people, but basically we don't we haven't heard about so why, why? Well, well, Jesus did something different. Yes, you know. I have some friends who are um, who are Jewish, and we were talking about the prophecies about what what prophecies were there about Jesus being fulfilled. We talked about this the other night. Yeah. We had dinner with them, and um, that's a different subject. But we were also you know, discussing how Jesus was different from the other prophets at right. that time. And I think a lot of the people at that time and the Jews were expecting someone to rescue them like a king and conquer and right. divide, conquer and, and, and bring them back to, and Jesus did that, but not, it was in a subversive way. Subversive way. Right. So he was different from the other prophets in the fact that he wanted to raise the lowly and he actually got, he, he died, he was put to death to save us instead of killing other people and, you know, right. conquering everybody else. Yeah, it, he, you know, you know, Mary's song, the, mm -hmm. the, the uh, weapons will be turned into, you know, plowshares and all yeah. that stuff. So right. I think that's what makes Jesus different is his, me his message was completely different than probably a lot of the other prophets. And that's why he stood out and it was so subversive, but so beautiful at the same time. Mm -hmm. He cared, he cared about the lowly and the people that were, you know, the right. lepers and the, the harlots and all that, and you ate dinner with them, and the tax collectors, and I think right. that's what makes it and so his compelling. disciples, who his disciples were, yeah, you know, like who would do who random would dudes, random, who were fishermen, <laughs> yeah, who would do that? Like it just none of it really. Like it, your message says, the, un, the your, your last your couple servants here is ago, the underdog. Everybody mm -hmm. loves an underdog, and Jesus, he came for the underdogs. We're mm -hmm. the underdogs, yeah, you know, and we can't forget that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and it just reminds you that, like, you know, looking at Jesus. Like you, if you want to know God, if you want to know what God is like, then look at Jesus. And I think um, for many, for many people, it, you know, God is kind of this abstract thing. Behind this guy. That's, yeah. yeah, that's kind of there right. and like present and personable, but not really mm -hmm. and distant and kind of does stuff or did things like millions of years ago, yeah. put things into motion. Um, and then it's but, like, hands off now and just kind yeah. of like, mm -hmm. Have fun down there. <laughs> Whereas with Jesus, to say that he is God, then everything that Jesus does is characteristic of God. Who God's character is. That if you fully want to know what God what God is like, you don't have to make it up anymore. You don't have to wonder about that. You yeah. can say, hey, G yeah, Jesus, who did he value? How did he act? What did he do? Like, what did Jesus do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know that's just a, it's a weird acronym, but yeah. ultimately, if, if you want to keep yourself in check, go back and say, Am I responding the way Jesus would respond? Like, am I coming from a position of power and authority and treating someone, you know, like that? And that's how you can check yourself. I mean, that's how I do. Like, oh my gosh, am I being a jerk right now? Because if yeah. I am, then maybe I need to be like, mm. right, right, yeah. yeah, yeah. And even different than other religions and faith, yeah. where God is this all-powerful, authoritative lightning bolt going to strike like you Zeus. dead figure. Yeah, like Zeus <laughs> kind of figure. Yeah. Um, in in many other religions, you know, Jesus is like you're saying the opposite of that. Completely the opposite. Op the subversive. The let me lay my life down. The sacrificial love mm -hmm. that's shown, which is just a totally different animal. And I think it's attractive. It, it's your people are curious about that when. Um, it just it just shows that 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 stark contrast to what the world explains to us and also what you know what ultimately like we want to do we want to take power we want authority we want to control the whole world's about that mm -hmm. yeah. power yeah. and money and fame and control mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah yeah and i know on the flip side some people also wrestle with uh you know they, they, they don't necessarily have a problem with jesus's divinity but they'll wrestle with jesus's humanity that was something that we didn't touch on but it's also possible and present is 
maybe you were taught that yet yeah, Jesus was kind of this untouchable far off God mm -hmm. figure mm -hmm. that you know you believe that he did walk the earth and stuff but it wasn't yeah and some people are like why didn't he have kids and why didn't he get married why you know and things yeah. like that Maybe you yeah. did. I don't really know. But still, yeah. they, that, that's what they're, they're like, well, he was human. Why did he do all that stuff? Yeah. You know, why? why yeah. You know? But yeah, but yeah, even to the um, exclusion of like, yeah, the very human things that we think. But that's where it's important to grasp. probably got the stomach bug and threw up. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'm just exactly. saying, food poisoning <laughs> can happen. Yeah. Let's understand that. That, yeah. you know, as a, he was fully human as well. It's odd so to think he that. Gets, so he gets it. Yeah. God gets it. Like, it's not like he's, you know, it, it's one thing to say, you know, say I have a friend that they were in a car, a really bad car accident mm -hmm. and say, I've never really been in a car accident. And he's saying, Oh, that's terrible. Like, you know, do you need anything? What can I do to help? Like, dinner? I don't feel like I, I might be well-meaning, but yeah. I don't really know what they're going through. Right. You know, and it, it's similar with God. Mm -hmm. Like many times it's like, Oh, well, God doesn't really understand. God's just kind of this off power. No, but we can say Jesus, he gets it. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, he went to death on a cross. Talk about the most painful, horrible death. So whatever suffering, whatever pain that we might be going through, he understands it. He's in solidarity with us. So and he to didn't, know that he didn't take a position of authority and tell people what to do. He took a position of, right. you know, everything happened. Do it all to me. <laughs> and then I will, you know. Yes. It's like people with disability they used to work in the disability community physical yeah. disabilities and and um developmental mm -hmm. but like some of them i would say that most most disability advocates are people with disabilities themselves because it's hard for people who are in legislation right. to make laws about people about people they don't even understand right. you know so it's That's so sweet. important to have people represented in your community uh you know people with disabilities persons of color people who have you know everything because mm -hmm. you know how can you you know, say you love those people without having them also be in leadership as well. Right. Not just leadership, but disciples, discipleship and, and, and disciple making, you know. So yep. Yep. that's, yeah, that's so another true. point of, you know, Jesus, he was he was a part of it. And that's how we right. have to operate in the faith community too. Yep. You know, he gets it. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I just encourage you that, you know, if uh, as we're just unpacking a couple of these things in this series, like do some further study, do some further reading. This is meant to be a springboard into exploration. Question. Because even if you, you know, if you're saying, yeah, I profess faith in Jesus mm -hmm. and I follow him, that that's fit, fantastic. But but kind of understanding and unpacking the why is is important too. Especially people, others might have questions, friends, family. Um, and just, and I think it also grounds, it deepens your faith too yeah. when it has a little bit deeper roots in, in it. In just your scientific history. method of Christian formation. <laughs> yes, it is. I guess it is. Yeah. So awesome, Becca. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks for having Thanks me. For joining us. Yeah. And then this coming week, this Sunday, we're going to be talking about the Bible. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you know, and there's like so much we can talk about with that. I mean, this could be, that could be your own series by itself. Yeah. And it might be sometime in the future, but we're just going to scratch the surface about, um, uh, inspiration. You know how was the Bible inspired, and just the question how we like, kind of from there. different tents that camps that people find themselves in, in that and literal, why, literal, that kind of literal piece, mm -hmm. and um, the kind of drop down book from heaven kind of experience versus the you know God using broken mm -hmm. people just like you and me to write what He needs to. Um, so we're gonna explore that. So join us Sunday, and, um, and then third week. Fun. We're going to talk about Jeff. heaven, yeah, we're going to talk about heaven and kind of the second coming and all of that kind of That's stuff. Exciting. That's a lot too. Yeah. So it's going to be fantastic. So join don't us for it. that. Yeah, don't miss it. So have a great week, guys. Bye.